The Honourable Governor for Oro. Deputy Speaker. Um, my questions, well, but before I ask my questions, I just wanted to make a comment in regards to the response by the Deputy Prime Minister. Um, and that if he can also have his department look into the three-year work training plans that the Labor Department is supposed to enforce on expatriate workers, especially in middle management positions. Many Papua New Guineans cannot ascend to that level because honorable, these honorable plans Governor. have never been followed. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I'll go to my question now. Thank you. <laughs> but still very relevant point, I must add. My questions are to the uh, Minister for SIPA and Climate Change. Uh, and I would like the Minister for Forestry to also take note. Uh, firstly, I want to commend the Minister for SIPA and Climate Change. He has been doing a magnificent job in that ministry, trying to clean up the mess that's there and still doing that. Yeah, yeah. Minister, through you, Deputy Speaker, can you please give us uh, an indication of where we are with the Protected Areas Bill, which I believe was lying in readiness to be presented in Parliament for some time, uh, but has not yet progressed, and it has been quite some time now, and I am being asked by relevant NGOs who are concerned about this very important bill, and also members of our various communities who would like this bill to come into, onto the floor of Parliament so it can be passed and debated. Thank you. Yeah, well, Minister for Debate. Climate Change. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Firstly, I'd like to thank uh, the good governor for all for the very important question raised. Uh, regarding the uh, PA bill, or protected area bill, it was uh, first drafted in 20, uh, 2017, 2017, and was submitted to uh, state hall for the uh, certificate of necessities. Once the state hall reviewed, they issued the certificate of necessities in 2017. And uh, in 2018, it was uh, submitted to a first lady of council. So the first lady of council proved that the bill was ready to progress to NEC as uh, issued the certificate of compliance. And it was a uh, progress to NEC. However, Mr. Speaker, the NEC has rejected the submission in 2018 because of the omission of climate change and red plus provisions in 2018. So it was taken back to SEPA, and it has taken two years for SEPA to revise and redraft the uh, PA bill with the inclusion of climate change and uh, red plus provisions. In late 2021, it was then uh, progressed to uh, state soil again for the certificate of necessity, and it was, it was issued again with a revised drafting instruction. And in uh, early 2022, NEC meeting, NEC meeting number four, 2022, made a decision, NEC decision 39, 2022, under clause four, which directed the FLC to draft the proposed PA bill in accordance with the approved drafting instruction. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, SEPA did not get the certificate of compliance from FLC prior to the elections. So the PA bill is still with SEPA. And now I have tasked the new acting MD to process the process and progress the uh, PA bill. And now, Mr. Speaker, through you, I have the PA bill ready to be submitted to NEC and to be brought to Parliament, probably the next Parliament, for reading and enactment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.